everybody how is it going this is life in florida my name is ari today i will show you the go-to cola i have and i get this plan this year and uh, look where i found this little plant i got this encyclopedia of herbal medicine and i found it at the 76th page and it's supposed to be a wonderful herbal medicine it says it's called also Indian pennywort uh, go to call is an ancient Ayurvedic, Ayurvedic remedy that is now used extensively in the West it is useful tonic and cleansing herb for skin problems and digestive disorders it's a uh, actually pretty impressive what i'm reading it says key actions uh, wound healer tonic anti-inflammatory sedative peripheral vasodilator and it says the traditional and current uses wound healing go to cola's main traditional use lies in treating wounds and skin problems in ayurveda it is used specifically to promote healing in skin ulcers and serious skin problems as well as to prevent scarring the herb may be applied directly to the skin or taken internally it appears to promote tissue repair throughout the body it supports peripheral circulation and can be taken to strengthen blood vessels varicose veins many people swear by goto cola's ability to prevent and relieve arthritis and rheuma rheumatic problems uh, there's just a few to to be mentioned it's pretty amazing what i'm reading and brain function in the last 10 years, research has focused on Gotu Cola's ability to relieve anxiety and support healthy brain function. How amazing is that? A Thai clinical trial in 2008 found that Gotu Cola extract improved attention, working memory, alertness, and mood in 28 healthy volunteers in an average age of 65. Another small study found that Gotu Cola eased the symptoms of anxiety. That's pretty amazing. And the parts to be used, the aerial parts, have valuable tonic and cleansing properties. You can also use as a powder form or paste or infusion. There is a caution, can occasionally cause sensitivity to sunlight. Restricted herb in some countries may cause allergic reactions in rare cases. So that's one thing to keep in mind that it may can cause um, allergic reactions. Not not for many, but it's nice to keep in mind that one. So yes, it's a, an amazing plant and I'm so happy. A person shared a little piece with me this year. And at the time, uh, I didn't even know what was this plant she didn't remember the name either but she told me that it's good to eat it uh, good to juice it or put it in your salad and it's supposed to be good for the brain and i'm like oh everything will come out my brain that's wonderful so anyways that's how i got the plant and at the time it was just just a couple maybe two leaves or a couple of leaves and this is how much it grew and uh, you can tell that it's uh, chlorophyll deficient because it didn't get enough sunlight due to the mulberry is growing way too fast and it shaded it out so i have to make sure to remember to put it more out to the sun so it can get more green darker green that it is normally you can see it, it's more dark I wanted to share this quickly because it can be a very important little plant and if you can grow it, go for it. I want to show you really quick also the flowers. Very, it's not like super... You can see the flowers. They're not a big flower. But I thought that I'm gonna show you because uh, in the book it didn't even show the flowers i have to watch out for seeds from this one because i would like to plant more of this one 
it wouldn't hurt certainly <laughs> wish you a good week and see you with more plant videos later <laughs> bye oh if you like the video push a thumbs up it helps and see you guys later bye